An elusive dream of the aviation industry is an aircraft that has the versatility of a helicopter when it comes to takeoff, landing and hover, while also having the maximum forward speed of a fixed wing business jet. Note that for most helicopters, a speed of 200 knots is the limit. The US Air Force, in their quest for finding a replacement for their now aging VTOL craft, specifically the V-22 Osprey, have started the high-speed VTOL challenge. They have recently selected 11 companies that are potential candidates for producing their future fleet of aircraft and these will be covered in this video. The high-speed VTOL aircraft need to achieve a minimum speed of 400 knots as set in the challenge. Most of the selected aircraft by the US Air Force are unconventional in their design and we will explore the technology behind these aircraft. But first, let's have a look at the background that led to the challenge. Vertical takeoff and landing aircraft have been a keen pursuit of the aviation industry from the beginning. The advantages of these aircraft are numerous, but the main reason is the ability to travel point to point, not requiring the need of large landing strips. In the early days, VTOL came in the shape of gyrocopters, but unfortunately they were pushed aside as higher speed and more versatile machines became available in the form of helicopters. For military applications in particular, high speed and high range VTOLs hold great importance for troop deployment, equipment delivery and evacuation. The last unconventional aircraft developed that somewhat met challenging requirements was the Bell V-22 Osprey. The Osprey is a tilt rotor aircraft that has the ability to deliver over 9 tons of cargo. It can reach speeds of over 305 knots. But despite its impressive numbers, the aircraft still has its disadvantages. The Osprey is not only difficult to operate and maintain, but also has a huge cost associated with its production. The production costs are considerably greater than for helicopters with an equivalent payload capability. More specifically, its cost is about twice as great when compared to the CH-53E heavy-duty helicopter, which has a greater payload and an ability to carry heavy equipment than the V-22. An Osprey unit costs around 60 million to produce, while an equivalent helicopter is just 35 million. It has to be mentioned though that the CH-53E has a maximum speed of 170 knots. With this information, the reasons for the US Air Force interest in high-speed VTOL can be understood. With the beginning of the electric aviation age, there has been unprecedented innovation activity that hasn't been witnessed since the post-war. The US Air Force is therefore incentivizing the startups for realizing high-speed VTOLs that may come from out-of-the-box design and would help in replacing the Osprey. So without further ado, here are 11 aircraft companies that have been shortlisted. First is Horizon Aircraft. Their machine, the Cavere X5, is a sleek canard wing design that has a patented fan in the wing system. The Cavere X5 is a pure lift and cruise design with 16 lift fans embedded in the wings and a single pusher propeller at the back. The neat wing design splits right down the middle. The leading and the trailing edges of the wing move apart to reveal the lift fans for VTOL operation and then close and lock shut when it's time to cruise. The second is the American Aerospace Engineering and their aircraft Diverser, which is a six rotor tilt wing aircraft. Four of the rotors are placed on the main wing while two are present on the rear horizontal stabilizer. The propulsion system will be a hybrid electric or all electric. Not much is known about the aircraft as the details have been kept a secret. The aircraft will have a ballistic parachute to land safely in case of an emergency. It can also land on runways using its wings. Next, we have Continuum Dynamics that are designing their aircraft based on a technology that is called the VDTR or the Variable Diameter Tilt Rotor. At a cursory glance, their aircraft looks like the Osprey, but on a closer inspection, one can note a very clever feature of the design. During hover, the blades fully extend. When cruise is achieved, the blades can be retracted to 70% of the extended length. The VDTR is a Sirosky concept that was aimed at improving the tilt rotors, hover and cruise performance. 
Jet of Terror are also among those who have been shortlisted by the U.S. Air Force. The Northrop Grumman will work with Jet of Terror to design an airframe for the high-speed VTOL demonstrator that will integrate the fluidic propulsion system's propulsors. Jet of Terror's selection for the high-speed VTOL program builds on the two Air Force Small Business Technology Transfer contracts awarded to them in March 2021 for work on fluidic propulsion system. Transcend Air, a Boston-based developer of high-speed VTOL aircraft, will develop the V500 Catamount. The Catamount is a militarized version of Transcend's civil VY400 high-speed VTOL, which the company is developing for city-to-city -city VIP travel. It features three rotors. One fixed rotor is at the tail, while the other two are mounted on a tilt wing. The V500 will use the powerful GE T901 turboshaft engine, allowing it to reach cruise speed of 435 knots and combat radius of up to 720 miles. Transcend Air said that the V500 will take just 15 minutes to dash 100 nautical miles, which would increase the air crew recovery rates by up to 70%. The sixth aircraft manufacturer backed by the U.S. Air Force is the Valkyrie Systems Aerospace. The conceptual Guardian Hoverjet is a wing body aircraft with four fans in the wings. For VTOL, it is designed to have a maximum takeoff weight of 7,258 kilograms and a useful load of 907 kilograms. The Guardian's two Pratt & Whitney PW545C turbofans will allow it to reach speeds of up to 390 knots and fly for up to 15 hours using maximum fuel. It is streamlined, stealthy design that can be operated in aircraft, hovercraft, and amphibious modes. It must be pointed out though, that with such small fans, it would require an extremely high amount of energy to attain lift. Also on the list is the PSSC Aircraft Corporation, which will work on developing its PA-1459 high-speed VTOL concept air vehicle for the challenge. A digital rendering of the PA-1459 shows an aircraft with two aft-mounted turbofan engines with vectoring exhaust and two tilting duct propellers for vertical lift. All four can provide vector thrust through 90 degrees for vertical or super short takeoff and landing operations, as well as high speed forward flight. The low drag fuselage of the PA-1459 is designed to achieve high speeds required to meet the challenge. Next we have Jaunt Air Mobility who are known for the Rosa and electrically powered Gyrodyne. Jaunt has one of the safest aircraft design courtesy of a huge rotor that acts like a parachute in case of an emergency landing. For the high-speed VTOL challenge, they will produce two conceptual designs, one of them being the MAV-55. These aircraft will incorporate Jaunt's patented slow rotor compound technology, which slows the helicopter's main rotor speed to allow for higher forward speed. According to Jaunt, this will result in a lift-to-track ratio five times better than that of a helicopter. While this aircraft does not have a small footprint, but it can carry up to 12 people and has a maximum range of 1610 miles. Aircraft Corporation Bell, the makers of the Osprey, have also been shortlisted. As they have the most experience in developing real high-speed VTOL aircraft, it seemed a natural choice. The concept aircraft they have submitted are similar to the Osprey, but also different in many ways. Initial systems will be designed with a split propulsion, two independent propulsion systems, one for VTOL and one for high-speed cruise. Underpinning this system is the company's folding rotor hardware technology and digital flight control systems that will enable transition from turboprop to jet modes. Bell have already demonstrated a full-scale prototype of its fold-away rotor technology, one that it developed based on a digital design. The remaining two companies that make up the 11 are Vertigo Aero for their propulsion system and Whisper Aero for their low-noise propulsors. So we hope you would have learned a few things about upcoming aviation technology. What is your favorite and which one do you think has the most potential? Do let us know in the comment section to get a discussion going. 
And with this, the video is concluded. Thank you for your attention.